Jokic, a couple of nights ago, the Thunder defense did a good job of surrounding him. They'll have to do the same thing tonight against Cat Towns. And here we go on City Night, downtown Oklahoma City. Thank you for being with us. And of course, a booze for Beverly as he touches the basketball with Baisley on Russell. Russell, little ball fake, and he was able to get the drive and the score inside in that game. The health defense was exceptional as there is a turnover. Pokashevsky took it away. SGA looking for a teammate, and he finds one in Roby as he gave him that bounce pass on the weak side. Baisley spotted up. Didn't settle for the three. And Roby is able to take that pass right back. And he goes to Towns. And how about that? He flicks it up, draws the whistle. As McDaniel spots up, corner three, no good. Man trying to help out the skyscrapers. And up ahead to Roby. There's Pokashevsky running the floor. And Roby put it on the platter for him to throw it down. Everybody's hoping out of the glass. Weak side is in position. Towns lines up a three ball. He'll put this one down. So, Michael, my question is, you had Jokic on Wednesday, and he's obviously as lethal as it gets, as Towns passes to a cutting McDaniels who slams it home. Very solid start for Roby. Towns goes to work and plays through the contact. And Carl Anthony Towns will get an old-fashioned three-point play opportunity. Not just Roby, I'm talking Trey Mann. Pokashevsky, he's in the starting lineup again tonight. We've talked about Baisley. Of course, SGA had a phenomenal run of 30-point game. Oh, how about the move from Trey Mann? Was able to dismiss Beasley. As that has just turned into such a lethal move offensively for the rookie as Roby powers his way up to the cup for the one-handed slam. Going to work on Jordan McLaughlin and trying to prevent Minnesota from getting much momentum. It, as the Timberwolves had a 10-2 run going. Towns snaps it cross court, and McDaniels has been wearing out that corner. Yeah, absolutely. And it's all part of the progress of developing into a complete player, Nick. And that's something that Shea has said that he prides himself on and the, and the type of player that he wants to become. So Shea is into double digits. Towns again looking for a teammate and a cutter. Shea maneuvering to the cup, kicks it out. Waters open corner three, and he got it. Without SGA on the floor, it's team basketball. Good close out by Waters on Russell and still able to slither his way up for the left-handed scoop. And they also lead the NBA on, in most points on the road at 117 a game. Here is one of those turnovers and Prince charges right to the rack, put his head down and scores. And so it's a 7-0 Minnesota start to the second quarter. Man, sees a little bit of space, lets it fly from downtown and connects. Prince with Sar closing out, trying to suck up that airspace. Just enough of a bump, and Prince is going to get an and one. They, they also are tops in the NBA at putting you on the free throw line at over 25 a game, their opponents. Man's been wearing out that wing, and he splashes home that three. Yeah, that, that's, that's one that's not on the books yet. Developing more and more of an arsenal offensively. And how about Torian Prince coming off the bench? Eight first half points. There's a three on top of a three-point play. Playing that five spot. Got the bounce pass from Maladon, and we see the French connection. And this is the biggest lead for Minnesota here at 14. Is Shea trying to get a bucket, and he does, bisecting the lane. And in his way, Jordan McLaughlin. Beverly up top and is thrown down by Vanderbilt. He just hammered right through. McLaughlin spots up and the threes continuing to drop in. This time from a different spot, much needed coming out of a timeout. That was a set piece. Thunder starting to knock down the tray ball as well. He got six made threes as the Timberwolves continue. That's number 11. Suche doing the work, but McDaniels going with him step for step, trying to stay attached. And so Shea steps back and shoots right over the top. Michael, 7 out of 14. All right at 50%. And Minnesota cannot miss. He is 5 of 5 from the free throw line, 5 of 6 from the field. Towns, no on the initial drive, but Vanderbilt there to follow it up. At halftime, started his third quarter. Timberwolves said, we're just going to double him. 
There's a deflection of the steal. It's Towns on the release, and Towns able to beat everybody down the floor for the authoritative jam. Poku with the hustle, leads to a Trey Man three out. Roby right there, follows it up with the flush. And so much open up a little bit as well. So much time left to go in this game. Shea dancing, leans, puts it up, took the bump, Kevin in a foul. From the three point line, that was an issue in that second quarter where they knocked down eight. Towns, deep catch, and Roby can't stop him. Monitor with seven minutes left to go in the third quarter. That's a long time. Potentially an opportunity, Prince, and he connects. And it pushes the T-Wolves lead back up to 12. See how Minnesota plays defensively as man goes right at Beasley, and boy. Rachley wisely backs off Prince once he gathered the basketball back. Prince looks to make his move, kept that pivot foot down, and got it up over the outstretched arm. Krejci played good defense. My phone blew up at, at that point. There was a lot of people saying, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Kevin Garnett, <laughs> they were doing a lot of people. Mimic Okor, how about that? Oh, that's Towns, former, it's a former Utah Jazz. Mimic Okor. Yeah, I got a text about him as well. Not three-point shooter, right? Three-point shooter, maybe. No, we can't say that. That's why I didn't put him in the conversation. Oh, and Poco showing some agility off the deck, taking it right to the cup. Chris Finch has done a terrific job. Why wouldn't he be in contention for Coach of the Year? My opinion, because of what he's done with the Temple Timberwolves and the patience they've shown in their development as Shea knocks it down. Well, Minnesota has cooled off, particularly from three-point land, three out of 12 in the second half. 13-point game. Reed got it right back from Prince, and Roby's going to commit the foul. Minnesota's been able to extend its lead. Roby tied up momentarily. Three to fire for Shea. Drives, and what a move. Hung in the air long enough. They call that hang time. Still had a big guy there waiting on him. Shot clock is off. Prince trying to get the step on Krejci, and how about that? A really fun, action-packed weekend for this group. That's been working so hard this school year, guys. All right, thank you, Paris. And what a great highlight being able to come here to this game as D'Angelo Russell right out of the gate here, fourth quarter. That was, that was the game in Minnesota. That was a low-scoring game, but then the very next game, and it was a home-and-home -home back to back as Maladon drills the three. Big lead here for the Timberwolves. This game, one of a three-game homestand for OKC. The Thunder are going to really enjoy some time at home as Reed acrobatically put that up. It's done to opponents all season long. That's the 17th turnover right after season average in terms of forcing turnovers. And Beasley, who we said got off to a really slow start on the standable as the season has gone on, because he missed more games than he played a season ago. He had all those starts, but he hasn't gotten the, the same amount of playing time and, and you know, getting more minutes here with all these guys out. But he said it's one thing to get the opportunity. It's it's another thing to take advantage of the opportunity. With Tom Thibodeau in 2018. And Andrew Wiggins was part of the squad. That was an early exit, though. Just first round matchup with the Houston Rockets. How about, uh, you know, Utah's coming in here on Sunday afternoon. They're playing some pretty good basketball.